All right, guys. We watched another episode of D Jones Outdoors. Today, Saturday, May 8th, and we're out in the woods. We're doing a little bit of turkey hunting here. I got a couple of gobblers. I got a couple of gobblers roosted maybe another 100, 200 yards away from me here. So uh, I got a few spots marked using my Onyx Hunt application. I'm gonna work my way up this fence line and about another 150, 160 yards I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna get these turkeys to fly down from their roost or hopefully these turkeys will fly down from the roost, come straight to the field and work and work right into these decoys. So stay tuned. This could get interesting. There's a bunch of birds. Hopefully I can knock one of them down. So stay tuned. On the way in there, it's gonna be a good one. All right, guys, I got a few gobblers that can come up on the top side of this hill, so hopefully I'll come down into the corner and actually see see my uh, Primo's chicken on the stick decoy. So I gotta get ready. Lord willing, this brownie can shoot straight. Get some turkey breast on the dinner plate, baby. So. Uh, it's gonna get interesting. Stop the flop, baby. I said, Lord willing, let this brownie shoot straight and we just gonna have some fresh turkey breast on the breakfast plate this morning, baby. Get you some of that. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Got my first turkey. Can't stop the flop. Can't stop the flop, baby. Turkey down. Can't stop the flop, baby. Oh, let's go. Look at this old boy. Oh, uh, got some nice hooks on and everything. Nice beard. Look at it. It's a great bird, guys. Great first bird. Great first bird, baby. So. The hunt breakdown from this morning and why I was able to achieve success was I was able to use my Onyx Hunt application to basically figure out which way was going to be the best way to enter the field. I was also able to drop pin to figure out where the birds were roosting and basically I was able to get in here this morning, come along the fence row completely silent to the birds, never knew I was here, didn't have a clue that I was here. And I was able to come in, I was able to get set up right up against this tree right here and I let this beautiful real tree timber edge do its job and you guys are able to see the birds well we, you guys didn't see the birds fly down from the roost but you're able to watch the birds travel all the way to the corner they got gobblers that are up at the top of this hill right here and the one that i shot was the only one that immediately broke away and he was coming over 
to kind of pick on my Primo's chicken on a stick. But uh, we all see how that went for him. And I was able to hit him, knock him down, and get my first bird. But um, it's a bit surreal to know that, you know, I was able to come in here, have a plan, and execute it, and execute it very well. And uh, I was just happy uh, that I'm able to get my first bird. And you can't stop the flop, baby. And uh, God is good. So now uh, I'm going to get all this stuff wrapped up here. And uh, well, guys, uh, got my first long beard. First and foremost, I just want to thank God. I was scouting this place out, you know, maybe about six days ago, maybe close to a week ago. And I had dropped a spot here because the landowner had told me um, he'd been hearing a bunch of birds that had been coming through here in the morning. So I kid you not, got in here last night before I went to sleep. You know, I was just doing a few owl hoots. And for those of you guys that follow me on my Instagram account at D Jones Outdoors, you guys were able to see that last night too and uh i just sounded off and it sounded like there was legit maybe eight or nine gobblers that would just be sounding off around the uh the south side of the pond here so i was able to get in here this morning i was able to get set up on one of them good old trees over there got this good old real tree edge on real tree timber edge and it's like they didn't even know i was there until i actually moved and uh knocked the safety off and i knocked the safety off the gun here so boy here got somewhat scared but by then it was already too late. The Lord did let that brown and shoot straight, so now we're gonna have some turkey breasts on a dinner plate, baby, and just more than happy, more than humble to be able to get my first bird down. And uh, I think it'll be even more special, the place that I was able to even get them down at and the people that I'd be able to share this uh, this hunt memory with. And so that's my first self film animal harvest. So I'm gonna head up to the house and share this with, uh, with my lady Emma and uh, Mr. Bruce and we're gonna see my youngins and let them know that their pops killed the turkey this morning, right before he came and hung out with them, and just gonna be more blessed. But I gotta go back to work again tomorrow. But you know, turkey down. Stay blessed. Stay safe out here, guys. Uh, even with everything going on in today's you know times across the entire world, everybody be the best person you can be, and uh, I think this world will be a lot better place.